Hi guys, this is Hung Wango. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I invite the beautiful Megan Williams here. She lent me her gorgeous canvas to create this ultimate smoky eye that, you know, I think every girl would love to look like this. I mean, that's just a typical thing when I do a job and the client was like, give me that ultimate sub, sultry, smoky eye. I believe that's what it is. So and then I asked Rita to do create the hair kind of like effortless but sexy at the same time. I hope you enjoy the video. Keep the channel always a lot of love. Subscribe to the channel. Give this video a thumb up. And don't forget to follow all of us on Instagram as well. Thank you. To start every makeup, I always prep the skincare first. The first product I use is from Ole Henderson. It's called Powell Reserve Peptide Lip Treatment. This is a lip treatment with peptide that help to plumb and hydrate the lips. You can use just a little bit as a lip balm like what I did, or you can use a lot at night over the lips as a lip mask as well. The second product I use is from Ole Henderson as well. It's called Banana Bright and Vitamin C Eye Cream. This is antioxidant ingredient in there, help to Diminish the dark circle and crow feet. It's great to prep on the makeup. Always very gentle around the eye area. And you see the way I do, just really just dab, dab, dab. Very gentle. The next product is the Banana Bright 15% Vitamin C Serum. This one contains 15% stable vitamin C and hyaluronic acid. This helps to instantly brighten your skin and really hydrating. This is a great serum for all skin types. I always like to press the serum into the skin. Whatever left over, I like to press on the neck, chest, and everywhere else. The last product is also from Ole Henderson. I tried to use all the product in the similar brands so you know what they are. It's called Strength Strainer Peptide Boost Moisturizer. This one has full of hydrating ingredients such as peptide, amino acid, and ceramides. These are great ingredients for moisturizer. It soothes and hydrates the skin really well, and it's really great on the makeup. Megan has really beautiful skin to start with, but I still want to prep the skin really well before makeup because even someone who have really good skin, good skin prep also help the foundation, concealer, everything go on a lot smoother without looking cakey and it's more natural looking. Always keep some love to the skin. I say that in every video every week. Give your face a little love, a little massage. For foundation and concealer today, I'm going to use the foundation from YSL. It's called All Hours Luminous Matte Foundation. This one is 24 hours long wear. It does have an SPF of 30 in here with hyaluronic acid. This is the new reformulated formula that you just have. For the concealer, is I'm using the concealer stick from Julian Dempsey. It's more like a spot stick concealer, but I'm gonna use a little bit under the eye as well. That's why I'm using two different shades. I'm using the number four for under the eye area and the number seven 
for the rest of the face. As I mentioned in every video, when you do a spot concealer, it's better to use the concealer exactly shades of the foundation so it look more seamless together. I personally like a little lighter under the eye area, that's why I use the lighter concealer. But if you use that light concealer and then you do pinpoint anywhere, it will look like you have all these dots everywhere on the face. So it's better you use two different shades. But if you don't, you can use just the darker shades right here and might be a brightener or anything like that under the eye if you just have one concealer. For this foundation, it is more a fuller coverage foundation, matte finish. Megan, I mean, she have really beautiful skin. If someone has skin like this beautiful, I don't think you need to wear that for the makeup at all. You should use a little concealer or tinted moisturizer. That's all she should and that's all she needs. But on my video, I like to do this for everyone. Some will love natural makeup, some will love full on. So I'm gonna do more full on. If you wanna wear less, you just apply a little less. And as you can see here, also about Megan's skin, she had more color on the body and her face a little paler than the body. So generally we try to match the body with the face, but if you wanna match the body exactly the face, Megan gonna look too dark on the face. So the shade I'm using is somewhat between, not exactly the same face color, or exactly the same body color. So between, and I'm trying to blend together, she's still gonna have some more color than this, but it's still gonna blend well together. Because Megan have great skin, I'm not gonna use too much foundation. With this foundation, if someone who want really full coverage, they still can achieve the full coverage looking. The great thing about this, even though it's a matte foundation, it does have hyaluronic acid in there, so you feel very hydrated. You know, a lot of time, foundation, when it's too matte, you're gonna feel it's so dry sometimes, but this, you're still gonna feel like skin. And you can see that I chose the shade a little bit deeper, but if I blend to the next, and blend to the chest here, it's go really well together. This is quite a beautiful foundation, by the way. So if someone who want more coverage, you should do a tippling motion like this, and you get a lot more coverage with this foundation. But because I don't want to make it too heavy, so I just do more sweeping motion like this, and just have a wash of colors. Yeah. My whole team was just saying to me how much they love the foundation today. Even in person, it's quite gorgeous. And this is not a sponsor. <laughs> I always say that to make sure because every time I'm passionate about the product, I talk a lot. And if you want to think it's maybe because I get paid to talk about that, but it's not. And as we say, makeup is, you know, very personal. You know, some people who have great skin, they still like wear full coverage makeup. We always see that before. Megan have beautiful skin, but doesn't mean she cannot wear full coverage. I mean, for red carpet, I would like to use these on her just because the flash, the light and everything will kill everything. So this would be a great example of foundation that you can use for red carpet as well. So for Chillin Dempsey, the concealer stick, this is more a spot concealer stick. This is great for someone who uses it to cover pimple or, you know, it's more a matte finish, so it's easy for you to cover any blemishes. I mean, Megan, I don't think after the foundation, I don't think I even need to use the number seven here at all. So I'm just gonna use the lighter shades of concealer for under the eye. It is quite undetectable when you plan them. And for this concealer stick, you can use as foundation if you like, you know, and because it's, it's pretty covered really well. You can mix them a little bit with moisturizer and you can use them at the foundation. This is a vegan formula and it is for all skin types. You see that, I mean, after the foundation, I think I only need to use the lighter one just a little bit on this area. And that's all I'm gonna do. And maybe just a little bit around the nose.
And this one is like a blending brush. This is for the eye blending brush, but I use them for um, pinpoint concealer. I think this is a great brush for that reason. I know like I use brush all different area, even it's like, it wasn't meant for that, but it's just me, I, I just feel like, oh, okay, this is great for like pinpoint concealer. And that's why I use, so you don't have to use the same tool I use at all. It's really just personal preference, yeah. Maybe a little bit here. But you can see that the number seven concealer is they pretty close to the foundation. So when you do a pinpoint concealer, like what I do, it looks very undetectable. But I think this is a great concealer for someone who have blemishes and trying to cover them. This is great. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use the lighter conceal again. I just do a little bit around here just to brighten the area. And then I'm also going to do a little bit just on this area. But this concealer is quite beautiful. It's really undetectable. I love it. You see, I use that just a little bright as a brightener on certain area that you want to brighten. Or maybe a little bit around the mouth here. For contour, I'm going to use the Milk Makeup Scope Stick. The shade I'm using called Stock. And this is the, actually the size of the product. It's a quite small, it's travel friendly, it's great for you. And I like this because it's more a matte and a cooler tone. You see that I just do a little dab dab and it's really great. It's more a matte finish. But it's also creamy and hydrating at the same time. Also vegan. I know I have to mention that from now on because a lot of you guys want to use all clean and vegan products. So if anything that I remember that they are vegan, I will let you know because um, sometimes I just don't remember to say that. And you see that's quite easy to blend. A lot of time when contour stick is too warm, um, I read a U bronzer for that. See, that's really beautiful. The shade is so natural. We changed the format of the channel already. So instead, we list all the name on the video, but because it's so small and if you watch on the phone, you won't be able to see it. So now we can list everything on description box instead. So whatever you want to know is everything underneath there. I'm going to do the same on the other side. And what I'm going to do is a little bit and just soften the edge of the nose a little bit. She doesn't need to, but we are playing. So we're just going to give her the full effect. For powder, I'm going to use Huda Beauty Easy Bake Loose Powder. I want to keep the face pretty matte so I'm gonna just set the face everywhere with the loose powder but this is a very beautiful powder even if I set the face everywhere it still look very undetectable For bronzer, I'm going to use the bronzer from Chanel. This is, I think, the limited edition. I'm not sure they still sell or not, but they, this is their regular bronzer, but they come on the, the jumbo side. I love them. They come with three different shades. This is the second shade, the number two or the medium one. But we're gonna list everything for you, so. Just a little bit. 
to set where I do the contour earlier. And you see, I'm very gentle on the face because I don't want to do heavy stripe at all. And then this is the way you're going to blend your foundation to the body. You know, you're always going to have lightly transition between the dark body and the lighter face. So you can use the bronzer just to blend them together more. So this way, it looks like the same color next in the face. Doing the same on this side. For eyebrow, I'm going to use three eyebrow products from Anastasia Beverly Hill, the Brow Wiz, the Brow Marker, and the Brow Frizz. This is like a brow setting. So Megan have really beautiful eyebrow. If you have like this, you can just gel the eyebrow, you're ready to go. But then again, I always want to make them a little extra. So I'm going to give Megan a tiny bit fuller brow, a tiny bit more extended, and that's why I use all these products. If you can achieve just from the marker, then go ahead or the brow with just one of them, you can. I like to use different products for different purposes. So I'm going to try to use the brow with first and I make the eyebrow a little longer. You can even use this one for the front, but because I don't want to make the eyebrow too dense, so I just want to use the marker for that. And you see this way here, you see that I'm just going to do them a little lifted and pull out a little more. And then just like that. So the brow pen really just for detailing. So you don't really need to use it if you don't want to. But you see that even that just the brow pencil alone, it keeps making a really beautiful shape already. And then I use the brow pen, just create a few individual hair. So it would be something like this. And what I'm going to do we do a little bit of the brow frizz, very little, to set the eyebrow. So it would be something like that. I'm going to do the same on the other side. Something like that. For eyes makeup, I'm going to use these four products. The eye primer from Red Beauty, the Vibe Liner Pencil Eyeliner from Honest Beauty, the Get It Together Eyeshadow Palette from Honest Beauty, and the Extreme Volume Mascara also from Honest Beauty. To start, I apply a little bit eyeshadow primer. You don't have to use eyeshadow primer at all, but I like it because it helps to create an even eyeshadow and it's easier to blend. And if you don't like heavy eyeshadow primer, this is a great one because it's very universal for everyone and it just gives you a sheer even on the eyelid. Next, I'm going to use the brow pencil. This is more a universal brow pencil. It's Clion smooth, easy to blend, transfer resistant. It's vegan formula. Miller. 
all the product from Honest is vegan and they don't have any silicone or paraben. So if you have sensitive eye, you can use them easy. And I use the liner all over along the lash line. And you see that I don't have to draw a perfect line right now because I'm gonna blend it out. But if you're not very fast at blending, you might have to do one eye at a time. And then I just match it out really fast. And keep in mind, when you blend in, it means you take away some of the color. So you want the depth, you have to put some back. You see that? So I just add a little back. Again, the whole smudgy, sexy brown smoky eye I'm doing today is I'm trying to make it very effortless, very easy for you to apply. I'm not gonna do like a perfect application, so it's make more realistic for you. In the same way, I'm doing along the lower lash line and then you just blend it out a little bit. This side again. And then you blend it out. And then what you're gonna do, also, you see the corner here, and a little more color here, just pull the eye out a little bit more. The way I blend is upward and outward. And don't worry how not perfect the eye right now because you're gonna tweak them a little bit with a Q-tip and then you do the eyeshadow on top. And I like how even how smudgy it is right now, even if she just curl lashes, she ready to go, you know? What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put a little more of the pencil and this is the cold pencil, so you can have time to smudge it out, blend it out. And then you see that. Easy. Next, what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna use a fluffy brush and then I'm gonna set where I use a liner earlier. See a little bit there. And then put a little bit on the crease as well. Same on this side. Some color here. And then I'm gonna use the same brush. And I do a little bit on the lower lash line as well. You see them do a little bit from the outer part. So it's gonna help the eye to be more lifted. Same on this side. Next, you use the blending brush I used earlier to smudge the eye. Actually, I'm gonna clean this corner a little bit here. Maybe too much in. 
you know, Q-tip is your best friend. You can use that to tweak anything you want. And I'm gonna do a little bit on the crease here. I just add a little color first and I use the fluffy brush, blend it out after. And then what you're gonna do is the same brush earlier, you use this to really blend the edge it out so it doesn't look too defined on the line. You see what I'm doing just back and forth. And the same in this way, you just blend back and forth. Outward and upward. And then, Use the same brush. If you still are blind and you don't have, you can use a different brush, but I'm using the same brush for this. Use the deeper shades. I'm gonna do a little bit more depth on the outer part here. So this way, it's gonna give the eye really beautiful lift. After you apply that darker color there, you use the same fluffy brush earlier and you just soften out eggs as well. You can add more if you need more. And same on this side, you blend the edge out. So you can leave a harsh line of the demarcation of the way it draw. It's still nothing wrong with that. But if you want to blend, you just use the same blending brush and just soften the edge out. Personally, I like everything a little more blended because I think it looks more finished to me, but it's all personal preference. So if you want to do that really like a triangle thing, you still can do that. It's not like, it's, it, you know, nothing wrong with doing the eye shape like that. So it's up to you how much blending you want to do with the eye. And you just really just bring out the color again. This is a great eyeshadow palette. I think it's, the color is fantastic for everyday use for sure. I always curl the lashes before mascara. I think it's important. It does give the eye a little lift. Even the few pinch is great as well. I'm going to apply two coats of mascara on the upper lashes and one on the lower lashes. This is a great clean volumizing mascara if you're looking for one. It has both sides, like one side is lash primer and one side is a mascara, but I like to use mascara side. If you want to get a lot of volume, you can pram the lash at first and then you use the mascara after. It gives you ton, tons of volume that way. You see that a little mascara bring the whole eye makeup together. I'm sorry, my studio is downstairs from a dance studio and so if you hear a lot of noise, it is because of that. For blush, I'm going to use the Gucci Luminous Matte Beauty Blush. It's called Rose Beige. This is a very beautiful blush. It's beautiful color. You can do very little or you can just build up for a more like a, a stronger blush. 
a super fine and thin powder so you can just really build it up. This is a very beautiful color. It also has hyaluronic acid in there. It's gonna stay very hydrated at the same time. So you know sometimes you put too much powder, it's gonna look a little cakey at the end of the day, but this will stay hydrating. You see the color, it's just really beautiful. This is such a beautiful color, guy. I mean, it's so gorgeous. For highlighter, I'm going to use the MAC Cosmetic Mineral Light Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle. This is a baked formula. You can use a little or you can use a lot if you like to. I'm going to use very little because I want to keep the skin more matte finish. It is very radiant and velvety highlighter. You see that you fan brush, so you go go very gentle and very lightly. So I use mostly just around the upper the cheek here and the bridge of the nose a little bit. Keep it both. For lips, I'm going to use two products. One is the Perma Gel Ultra Lip Pencil in the shade called Supernatural. This one from Pat McGrath Labs. And the lip gloss from Lisa Elrich Makeup. The name is called Affair. This is a gloss and lip care hybrid product. It's very soft and not sticky at all. To start, I'm going to define the lip shape a little bit. And this is a long wear gel pencil, so it's it lasts really well. Smile for me. You see that I just follow Megan's lip shape because she has gorgeous lip shape. You don't need to cheat and do anything at all. Then I'm going to fill in a little bit. And then for the upper lips. And because this is a lip gloss, so I'm going to use the lip liner. I filled in the whole lip a little bit. This is really gorgeous color. Next is the lip gloss. This is such a beautiful lip combo. I love it. I think it's a great lip liner for lip gloss color. I'm going to set the makeup with a setting spray from Charlotte Tilbury. That's the final look, guys. This is I think this for me is like dream hair and makeup. Every girl would love to look like this. That's what I think, but it's up to you to make the, be the judgment. I asked Rita to do my dream, you know, sultry hair today, and I think she nailed it. Thank you so much for coming to the channel, Megan. And I hope everyone enjoyed the look. Keep the channel always a lot of love. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. And don't forget to follow all of us on Instagram as well. Thank you.